Well, today we're just going to have a little workshop talk. Hey everybody, I'm Goatman 250 and this is Positively Prepared. Why don't you come with me on my preparedness journey? Maybe we can learn something together. Let's do this. I stopped by on my way home and bought $20 worth of peaches from a uh, peach orchard that uh, it's kind of, uh, it's about 15 miles away from where I live. But I was there on, I was there in that town for work. So I went over there and uh, kind of connected to the people who own the orchard anyway. Well, I'm not really connected to them, but our, uh, the pastor at our church forever, for many years, his daughter married into uh, married into the family who owns the orchard. Mm. So uh, got kind of a connection there. And uh, this year I bought more than normal. I'm gonna try to can some up this year. And I've actually found a recipe that's a little different than most of them I've seen. So we're gonna try it. I'll make a video about it. But uh, fixing work on the lawnmower, the old Kubota. And hopefully, Hopefully I'll get it going. I'm hoping just uh, just the battery. What happened? Uh, I was mowing some bumpy stuff and it jarred the battery around and put the uh, positive battery terminal into the side of the muffler where it was touching. And then when I went to start it, I heard something click and then it wouldn't do anything. Well, I let it set a couple days and then I went out there just a minute ago and tried to start it. And I noticed the light was coming on. So I'm hoping it just, just fried the battery or at least took all the juice out of the battery. And that's it. My workshop stays messy. <laughs> I'll clean it off, clean it out, and then, you know, builds right back up. My wife's uncle, he works for this plant that uses these containers. And this whole bag's full of these containers. And uh, looks like some kind of, I don't know, test, like where they take, you know, a test of something and each time they use a new one. Anyway, there's only like one or two of those in here. I guess they got left on accident, but the container itself is what I got them for. I mean, look at that. You know, nuts and bolts and stuff here in the workshop. Um, you know, it'd be great for organizing stuff. And uh, got them for free. They are actually just going to throw them away. I probably got, I don't know, 30 or so in here. He'd give me. And, uh, and these peaches are really beautiful. I don't know if you can see that very good. I'm actually gonna try to I'm actually gonna try to plant that seed see if we can't get something to grow um, but uh, the people who own these this uh, peach orchard they kind of got a little homestead that goes up you know goes along with the orchard up there they raise uh, animals and they also have a water well drilling company peaches, you know, 
they'll park the truck down there in a the little small town next to their orchard and sell peaches. Mm. Really good. My four wheeler, I gotta put a new battery on my four wheeler. Um, it won't charge. Of course, that battery's been on there probably 10 years. But, uh, been getting a lot of good questions on my question and answers video. Um, I'm gonna have to make one, I'm gonna have to make two questions and answers videos next time. One specifically answering the 38, the 3,800 questions that runs with knives leather works left me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was like 384, I think. 384 questions. <laughs> oh. Beautiful morning today. What are we like? August 21st? 55 degrees this morning when I went outside to go to work at 7 o'clock this morning. Pretty awesome. I didn't want to go to work. <laughs> um, but uh feels great. Right now it's like, uh, I don't know, probably 72 degrees outside. Sun shining, winds blowing. Beautiful. Well, I just wanted to talk to you. <laughs> That's about it, really. Um, anybody ever tried these? Let's see. Tree watering bag. Made by Greenscapes. I bought a bunch of them on clearance at Walmart for like two fifty a piece. And I looked them up and they're like twenty bucks or so on on even on eBay. Um, anyway, if you've used them, leave me a comment and tell me how they work. It's kind of what's going on today on the homestead and uh, I may start doing these every once in a while and just call it today on the homestead and then that day the, the date um, sometimes I just feel like getting the camera out and talking and you know what I'm doing you know every day is not an not an adventure um, like last night I come in from work and I did some, uh, I was mudding some sheetrock and uh, vacuuming up around, I'm waiting on, I got a few places in my in my house I've been redoing some sheetrock and uh, it's been dragging out for a long time now and I'm doing a little bit here and a little bit there and I gotta get, me, I gotta get some insulation because one of the places I need to put a two bats of insulation in before I stick the new piece of sheetrock on. And that's pretty much all I'm waiting on. Kind of been doing this gradually. I mean, money's pretty tight right now. My wife, I've said this before, my wife's a teacher. Well, she don't get paid in the summertime. So, so June and July, I mean, my wife don't bring home any money. Now, she gets two checks in May, but it's, uh, you know, even paying the bills up, it gets stretched really, really thin by about, usually about the second week of July until the end of August when she gets paid again. When she gets paid at the end of this month, it'll be her first check in two months. And that's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a stretch and it stretches us. So the budget gets stretched out, but we live out of the freezer. We live out of the pantry for a while. You know, we, we, we do just fine. But uh, there's a few things that I have to wait to buy and a few things like that I want to do. Here coming up soon, I'm gonna replace the back door of my house, put up a new storm door on the back of my house. Um, 
I'm going to uh, finish that sheetrock and, and a few pieces of insulation. And uh, I probably won't bring you along for that. I might bring you along for the back door. You know, I don't, I don't know. I do a lot of remodeling on my house. My house is built in 79, and I've pretty much redone most rooms in it. And I've lived here about 10 years, and uh, it's got new windows, it's got a new roof now. Just put in a new central heat and air unit last year. Or, I'm sorry, uh, March of this year. I got a new roof in August of last year. September, somewhere around there. You know, so I'm gradually upgrading my house to get to where I want it to be. And I don't care if it's beautiful and magnificent, because it's not. It's just an ordinary house. You guys have seen my house in my videos. I mean, it's nothing fancy. You know, I live out here in the country. I love where I live. I love my neighbors. And, uh... Anyway, I'm gonna replace the back door. It's a it's a it's a door from 1979. It's got the nine panes of wind glass in there, and it's an all wooden door. And uh, <clears throat> one of the panes of glass has broke out not long ago, and I've just caulked in a piece of plastic to uh, to kind of you know keep the elements outside. But I'm gonna replace the whole door and the door jam and the frame and everything. Excuse me, and upgrade it um, to one of those metal. Uh, whatever energy more energy efficient doors and um, I'm gonna probably use the door that's on the back of my house I'll probably use that on my chicken house whenever I build my chicken coop and hopefully I'll be building the chicken coop and get everything ready so that the chicken coop would be ready to go in spring for new chicks same with the garden all the garden should be ready to go next spring so that I can plant and uh, uh, Hopefully I have my well, my well all hooked up, done. You know, there's so many things I want to do. It takes money to do it, uh, and I just don't have the money right now. So I'm doing what I can. I'm doing the things that I have money for. And to tell you the truth, <clears throat> I need to make a list because I'm the world's worst about not making a list and kind of keeping a going list in my head that just wears me down. And I guarantee you, if you'll write things down, if you got a lot of stuff to do, write them down. Make a list. And just start checking them off you'll feel so much better and also <clears throat> when you make a list and you pray over that list I guarantee you the Lord will bless it and you'll start seeing stuff knocked off that list like you wouldn't believe and that's one of the things I've started keeping a prayer journal and in my prayer journal I write down a lot of things and then when the Lord answers the prayer I write down how he answered it and when he answered it and some of them are answered 10 minutes after I write them down in the book some, some, I mean, one just like a week ago, I prayed all morning about it, and I wrote it in my book. 20 minutes later, the issue was solved. Um, the Lord, the Lord likes lists for you to pray over them, and, and I am big on making lists and praying over them. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. If anything, if anybody has anything, make a list. Pray over that list. The Lord will bless it and bless you through it. Anyway, this is Coke Man 250 from the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless everybody. And remember, prep smarter and pray harder. All right, so I put together a couple playlists here. Click on the save money and it'll take you to my live frugal playlist. Show you all the videos in that, in that playlist. And then the big old thumbs up there. That's my most popular uploads, and you can check those out. If you like what you've seen here today and you want to see more, click that subscribe button down in the bottom middle. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.